Hey there, so we are on the Map Tour tutorial and we're talking about the enhancements right now because I'm seeing a lot of folks do this and hand it in without the enhancements done. Boy, that's a big problem. So I'm gonna give you an assignment specifically to do those enhancements. Now, the thing with the enhancements is to make sure that you read the directions carefully. With computing, with code writing, and with the AP, all three really the key to one of the big keys to success is reading the directions. So let's break it down item by item, and we're going to do this item right here, this map type list picker right here. That's the one we're going to do together. So stay with me. So let's read it aloud. It says map type list picker. Add a list picker to choose the map type with the elements roads, aerial, and terrain. These elements can be set in the UI or in the code in the before picking event handler. After picking, use the sol user selection to set the map type type for to one for roads, two for aerials, and three for terrain. You can do this with an if block if the blue mutator button are at to add an if then else to make a, a three-way choice. You could also do that that way. Here's how it's gonna happen. Watch this. There's a couple of different ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with a separate list picker. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna have to add a list picker. That's done over here in the designer. And I'm going to add a list picker underneath it. So I'm going to go over here to a list picker, right? I'm going to put a list picker under it. And I'm actually going to put it, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them side by side. So let's add a horizontal arrangement, right? We'll put in choose a destination. And then we'll put the, the list picker next to it. So they're in side by side. Now we'll the horizontal arrangement automatically fill the parent. So it'll go there, right? And then this guy is with fill parent. And this guy is with fill parent. And the reason we do with fill parent is because once we do that, you see that they pick evenly. They work evenly. Uh, so they share. And I'm going to change this to be uh, to be called map type. So in the bottom right hand corner here, you see I'm putting in the map type. And of course, I have it called list picker one. And we know that we want to have meaningful things. So list picker one, let's go. Change this to list picker map type and notice I am doing camel backing capitalize the first letter it's modified camel back so I'm capitalizing the first letter technically you're not supposed to do that but I'm okay with you doing it both ways so over here in blocks because this thing what does this do I'm going to go take a look at it. I'm actually going to pick up my uh my uh emulator here and I'm going to take a look at it and I'm going to take a look at it right here and I've got map type and it says and it's hard to see right there it says map type there but when I tap on it it gives me a blank list. Well, of course it gives me a blank list, silly, because there's nothing there. So let's get out of this. We're going to have to reconnect in a minute because I kind of jammed it up. And so we're going to have to set up this list ticket picker to work. Now, to make a list picker work, um, it's time your companion disconnected. I just disconnected. It's okay. We have to get this list picker here to work, this list picker map type. Well, what the heck are we going to do? Well, first of all, we've actually got to create a new list. So let's go over here to a variable. And let's grab a new variable. And let's, let's work down in here so we have our own space for this. And we're gonna call this map types. Let's see if it'll let me do that. I'm silly, I don't know what it just did there. That was just goofy. This is where I wanted to go, map types. This is a global destiny. This is a, a variable called map types, right? Now, that's gonna be a list. So we're gonna grab a list. I'm gonna have a make a list, whoops. Why is my mouse behaving so weirdly? And I'm going to need three things, right? Why do I know I'm going to need three things? Because when we go back here, I'm going to say, add a list picker to choose a map type with the elements roads, aerial, and terrain. How many elements are there? Roads, aerial, and terrain. I'm going to need three three items. It could be Europe, it's the European three, I forgot what other it is. So we're going to do a three list of three. Go over here to the mutator, add the item. Maybe if you have to stop and do this, pause the video, go do that if you need to. And then we're gonna go right in here, we're gonna make our map type. I'm gonna put it in here, duplicate, and put in all three text boxes right here. And we're gonna put in map type. And what do I have to put in? First, I want roads, so I can even copy it if I want to. And I put in roads. And then I can copy this word, Arial, because it told me to do that. I'll put that here, Arial. And then this last word is terrain. So I'm going to put in the terrain. Now, I'm going to put that in. 
And so far, I haven't done anything with this list picker. This list picker is its own map types, or, or it's its own list picker, rather. It doesn't have anything to do with the destinations. The list picker for destinations picks your destinations, so it has its own lists. The list picker for map type has its own list. And the first thing you have to do is you have to use a before picking. Before picking kind of loads the list up. If you look here, the destinations, it says set the destination elements to global destinations. In other words, when you start it, before you pick the list picker, throw in these. Make a list using this, right? So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go to list picker map type. And before picking, right, I'm going to tell it set, grab a setter here, set the elements, set the elements, right? And what do I set it to? Oh, it says it needs a value. It's actually giving you a warning, and that's okay. I'm going to take the warning off because I know that. Whenever you see a red X, it's telling you, hey, your, your, your machine's going to crash, right? But you're going to set it to this right here. You're going to say, hang on, sorry, hover over it. There we go. And there we go. And, of course, the warning goes away. Get global map types, except it's not global map types. It's Yeah, it is. Get global map types. That's right. Um, and that's going to be what that's going to be. So in it comes. Let's see if that's there. So I'm going to go check my thing. This is called an iterative process. When you do an iterative process, it means you don't do all of your code. You stop. And I'm going to go and pair my uh, companion. Here we go. I'm going to start my little thing here. I'm checking the QR code. It's got the QR code. Scanned it. We're waiting for it to come in now. But this is called an iterative process. I'm testing to see if my list comes up. If I did this right, the list should come up right here under map code. Now, map type right here. My map type, oh, here it is. Map type is right there. I'm going to tap it, right? Map type. And what do you know? There's my list. My list is looking right. So the first part's correct. Now, I'm going to pick roads, for example. And it didn't do anything. As a matter of fact, I can go over here to map type and click terrain, which is the roads look. It didn't do anything. Why didn't it do anything? Because I haven't actually had it do anything with what I picked. Because remember with a list picker, I have a before picking. So this is what you put on the list. And then an after picking, which is this is what you do with it. And I bet you what I'm going to need is probably a what? Hmm. Here I used a setter block, right? I bet you I'm going to need an after picking with a setter block. So the after picking setter block I'm going to use, let's go over here to list picker, after picking. So the map type gets an after picking, and I'm going to get a setter block. So I'm going here and get a setter block. And it doesn't matter which one I pick because I'm going to change it, right? I put in the setter block. I'm going to set my oops that's not the right thing i picked the wrong thing i not the list picker setter my bad pick the map and i'm going to set the map I'm use the map center because that's what i'm going to change right and this map i'm going to set the map type so look at that i'm going to set the map type so my feeling is why don't i just set it to global map types right Well, I gave you a trick, because that isn't going to work. Let's go back and look at the directions. The direction says, set the map type type to one for roads, two for aerial, and three for terrain. Where are they getting that from? Well, if I go over to the designer, and I go over to the map right here, Look what I have here under, where's my map type? Do I have the map type here? Here it is, map type, roads, aerial, and terrain. That's one, that's two, that's three. It's already there. This is how I would change it. If I wanted aerial, it would make the same thing look like that. If I wanted terrain, it would make the same thing look like that. It just decides the default here. But I want to control that. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, mm -mm, I don't want that. I actually want it to pick... Index one, if I want roads. Index two, if I want aerial. Index three, if I want terrain. So remember that? So index, so map type, I'm gonna select
to the list picker map type selection index. So now, if I pick one on this list, it's going to give me map type one. If I pick two on this list, it's going to give me map type two. And if I pick three on this list, it's going to give me map type three. Let's see if it works. So I've got it going, right? Still connected, bring in close. So you can still see it, right? I'm going to click map type, and here's my three right there. You can see them. And then I'm going to pick aerial. And boom, there we go. It's still floating in because my, my, my Wi-Fi is not too great right now. What if I try it again? Map type. Let me go to terrain. Oh, boom, I get the terrain map. That's those topographical maps with all the different things. It's still loading in. But that's how it works. So that's going to be for this part to make sure that the map type viewer works. That's going to satisfy this enhancement right here. So good luck with that. Get her done.